Jess and this is my February book haul kind of these are just the books I have bought that I haven't hauled yet I'm not really sure when I bought them or whatever but I haven't hauled I think <laughs> don't think I've hauled any of these yet but well let's just get started and I'm sorry for the lack of videos lately I have been skiing um in the last week and a half and yeah I just haven't been filming any videos obviously because I've been away so yeah let's get started this first book is Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith I got this for a pound in the works so that's the explanation for this one I just I've not read Pride and Prejudice but I've heard good things about this and it was a pound so I don't have any other reason for buying this I just I just bought it. Next book was also another pound book from the works and that is A Ticket and Espionage by Gail Karanga. This is one I have actually heard a lot about and have really really been interested in reading. It's about a girl who goes to a finishing school that is I think kills it's about killing people. I don't really know but I've heard lots of good things about it, so that's why I bought this one. Next one is another one from the works for a pound, and that is When You Are Mine by Rebecca Serrell. Um, it's about a girl who falls in love with a boy, but just before he like starts to like her, uh, her cousin comes, I think it's her cousin? Yeah, she kisses him and then her cousin comes and he falls in love with her cousin instead. And that found really interesting to me, I hope it's interesting. <laughs> the next books I got were all Valentine's presents from Harry and that is Delirium, Requiem and Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver. They are the the um, Delirium trilogy. I do already have a copy of Delirium there but I wanted them all to match so I got I got this one as well I don't know why because I've not really um got into it but I love her writing style I just I can't get into the story yet but um I might love it I don't really know <laughs> but yeah I'm I, all these books are like I don't really know why I bought them I just did I just have a problem they're really pretty though, these covers. The next three are also part of my Valentine's Day present from Harry and the first one is Unwind by Neil Schusterman. Um, this is a book about how um, until your child is 18 I think you can kind of abort your child and it will be unwound and used as like an organ donor for its body parts. And um, that just sounds like such an interesting premise for me and I can't wait to read it. Next one is Pushing Limits by Katie McGarry. I hate this cover but oh well. Um, this is a contemporary, I think it's a new adult book and I don't really know much what it's about but everybody loves this book and it was only $1.99 so um, it's I got it as my present from Harry because I just kind of, he gave me some money, he said here's some money, buy some books that you want because he doesn't really know what books I want. So yeah, I'm excited for this one. And the last book from Harry, what I got because it was it's part of my reading challenge with Books with M's which I will link down below. And it's Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. I think I'm going to leave this till Christmas and not read it till then. But I'm really, really excited to read it. I've wanted to read it for ages and I've just been trying to get a hold of it and now I have it. So it's it's so pretty as well. I love it. Next book I have already read and that is Summer of Cotton Candy by Debbie Village J. I can't pronounce her name. I'm sorry. Um, and this was a really, really good book. I've kind of... I did it. I kind of reviewed it in my January wrap up which I will link down below and it was just so cute and I just want to work in a theme park now. 
Next book is another one I've already read, and that is Leather and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. I also reviewed this in my January wrap-up. I don't know if I have a review of this. I, I might do. Um, and I will link that down below. And this is just the sweetest book. This and Anna's and French Kiss, I just loved Stephanie Perkins. I just, I want to read more from her. I need Elsa and the Happily Ever After to be out now. Next book is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, the graphic novel. I don't have, like... You might have noticed, if you can see my Percy Jackson books, that I don't have the first two in the series because I gave them away because they didn't match my others so I gave them to my boyfriend's cousin and um, so I thought I might as well buy the graphic novel because it's not the same thing, kind of, but it I've already, I don't want to buy the book because I've already read it, but the pictures are just so pretty and like like this is Lotus Casino. I just look, they just look so pretty and I'm really excited to finish this. I'm about halfway through I think, but I'm so excited to finish this. Amber at Malone Bookshelf did kind of a giveaway type thing. She was gonna give away some books to charity and she said if anybody wants them, just pay me three pound shipping and I'll give you um, two books for the three pound shipping. So I got the Moon and More by Sarah Dessen. I love these new covers of Sarah Dessen's books. And it's a contemporary, it's by, like all the other Sarah Dessen books. But it looks really good and it's in really good condition for a book that's been given to me by someone else. So uh, thank you, Amber. The second book I got from her is An Arc of Alice in Zombieland by Jenna Showalter. And I've been wanting to read this for a long, long time and it's just, it's so pretty, and Alice in Wonderland and zombies. Seriously, why do you not want to read this? Why? Next book I got is The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. I've already read this, and I loved, loved, loved it so much, but where's Percy, seriously, Percy? And um, I also reviewed this in my January wrap-up. I will link down below, as I've already said. But I love all the new characters and everything that's going on and I can't wait to get on to the next book in this series. Speaking of which, I also got The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. I am so excited for this one and I'm so happy that I've managed to get both of the US covers for this. And I'm hoping I can get the US cover for Marco Vithina and House of Hades as well as Blood of Olympus when that comes out. Uh, but I'm so excited for this one because Percy is back. But he just remember Anna Beth and that's so sad and oh, I just need to read it. The next books as well as Summer and Cat and Candy were given to me by my church for review as I write um, book I write book reviews for my church newsletter for uh, Christian fiction books so they're all Christian fiction and the first one is I it's upside down. The first one is Angel Eyes by Shannon Dit Ditmore. I don't know how to pronounce that and I've been wanting this one for a while so I was really I was really happy when my church said to me we just pick some books that you want and we'll buy them for you and so I got I chose this one as one of them and it's about a uh, angels I think <laughs> I'm assuming a girl who meets a guy and and just it sounds so good can you tell I don't know a lot about these books even though I chose them and I can I don't know. The next book I got from my church was Captives by Jill Williamson. Um, I have been on Jill Williamson and Stephanie Morrill's um, blog for a while now. She They run the Go Teen Writers blog which helps writers who are teenagers and it's really really good. It's a great community and I take their writing advice all the time but I realised I'd never read anything that Jill Williamson had written and so I decided to pick this one as one of my review books because, well, it's a dystopian and I love dystopian and, um, well, I love all her writing advice so her writing must be really good, I'm assuming. <laughs> it's about a dystopian world where people get captured and someone else tries to save them, so yeah. And the last book I got from my church was Swipe by um, Evan Angler. Evan Angler. The next book I got, the next book I got from my church was Swipe by Evan Angler, and um, I really, really am so excited for this book. It's about 
it's a middle grade book, I think the character is about 12, so I'm assuming it's middle grade, and um, it's about a world in which you get a mark on your wrist, like a kind of barcode, I guess, and um, once you get that mark on your wrist when, you're, when you turn 13, you can finally do things like get a job and buy stuff for yourself, you don't have to get your parents to buy stuff for you all the time, and, um, but the main characters main character Logan's sister went to get the mark on her 13th birthday and never came back and so he is scared to get the mark and there's all this whole mystery going on and it's really good I'm about um 109 pages in and I'm loving it so far so that was my February book haul I hope you all enjoyed it even though I haven't I'm a bit rusty for doing videos I promise promise that there will be a lot more videos now I'm hoping to do a week worth of videos and just put them up to make up for my lost time I'll see you next time goodbye